Okay, we've got a Sony PXW FS7 Mark II and the CMOS sensor has got some marks on the filter and the sensor itself. So a bit of mold is fungus has grown on there. We're gonna strip or well, we strip that down and clean out that fungus and mold build up. That's it completely stripped down because we the only way we can get into the sensor is to pull the whole video camera down and get inside to take off a couple of screws so we can remove that filter right there off that video camera. So to access between those two filters, the whole thing needs to be pulled apart. Terrible, terrible setup by Sony. But it is an awesome repair. And this one turned out to be a good clean. That's it clean there after we've done the um, our little cleaning process on it. Um, that cleaned up build. There was no, um, no residue left over. There wasn't a mark on the sensor, so it cleaned up good. And same with the filter, the filter cleaned up well. If that needed to be replaced, it would be a complete assembly. And that's probably a third of the cost of the cam video camera. This is the video sped up, pull it apart. There's some parts missing from the video. Probably all up, maybe about a three, three hour, four hour repair. If I had to sit down there and do it from beginning to end without any anyone coming in the shop, no customers and stuff like that, and just spent my entire working on it. Yeah, about two, three hours, pull apart, pull back together. Maybe four hours, something like that. That's me stripping it down so I can access it. There we go, cleaning it. Taking some pictures of it. With my old mobile phone. <laughs> Trying to get it all nice and clean. Pop it back in, put it all back together. Good fun. I enjoyed this repair. One of my best repairs, I reckon. Nice camera to pull apart. There are some parts that are a bit tricky. With the right tools and the knowledge and patience. Yep, it can be done. And it's pretty much all together now. The back of it, the, the photos I took with my mobile phone. Once you strip that side, oh, well, that's the other side there, so you don't need to strip it any further to access the filter. That's the old one when it was dirty. Got my fingerprint on there, giving it a bit of a wipe. You shouldn't do that, don't use your fingers. Putting up to a white light. There you go, that's the inside. Dirty, and now all the clean pictures. Hold on a sec. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, come see us out. Works perfect. We do all the um, Sony video camera, professional video cameras, even the older style video cameras, high eight. Way, mini DV video cameras and stuff like that along with all these new professional stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.